Hit the like button coming through the door. Now hit him with the Mr. Everything intro. Yeah. Mr. Everything's the name. Can't do change in the game. Doing my thing in my own lane. Every time you see me, I'm hitting them switches. Sliding through with something super vicious. Who is this? Mr. Everything's the name. Can't do change in the game. Doing my thing in my own lane. Every time you see me, I'm hitting them switches. Sliding through with something super vicious. Who is this? What's going on, everybody? It's Mr. Everything, and I'm at it again. You know. Hard work and everything, and trying to get goals accomplished. That stuff does not stop, you dig? Uh, hit that like button coming through. Subscribe to the channel if you have already. You know what I'm saying? Thank you very kindly. But uh, today, uh, my last video, I meant to show y'all a clip of me, you know, kind of hitting the switch or whatnot. Uh, and I didn't really get a chance to do that. It showed a very, like, a very small clip. So, I'm going to show y'all that real quick, and after y'all get done, we're going to get into the real, you know what I'm saying, thing of the video. Oh yeah, rain, sleet, hail, snow, shine, nothing, and no one stops the grind, not even the haters on the sidelines. So we're about to get into that clip real quick, short clip, just to, you know, at least see a little bit of action of the low rider, and come right back. Schools, new schools, imports, bikes too, going crazy all night, go hard, get right. I'm on the strip and I'm chilling like a villain, listen to beats slapping, the whole trunk be rattling, doing it real big, tires be ski skirting, engines be modded out, the gas pedal be overworking, and you know me, I be on that switch, listen to Mac Drake, it's this is what it is, I got the work done and I didn't handle my all right, hope y'all enjoyed that real, really short clip, you know what I'm saying? Because not too long after I had shot that clip uh, for the last video, uh, something happened. I ain't going to show y'all the full details on it because it's too ugly, you know what I'm saying, to see on camera. But I'm going to let y'all see what happened. Bam, here it is, Project Lowrider. Now, if you look, this side is the lowest that it has ever been. The lowest it's ever been, the lowest of the low. Let me show you why. We got over here. You understand? See how that right there? It's got some space in between that. You got some space right there. Follow me now. You got some space right there. And look back here. You got hardly no space. It's tight. You know what I mean? Super tight. So, what ended up happening to the lowrider was that I was, you know, hitting a couple switches, but I wasn't just hitting a couple of switches. What I did was, I drove around the yard a little bit, hitting a little bit of three-wheel motion, and uh, just was having so much fun, forgot about my side that was messed up. So, long story short, what ended up happening was the cylinder came out of, you know what I'm saying, the bridge. So for y'all that don't know what a bridge is, uh, hopefully they got something on the low rider on the YouTube channel where you can know what the bridge is. But I might show y'all a little bit later after I get it fixed. I don't feel like showing y'all right now. But the cylinder popped out of the bridge. So therefore, now the cylinder is free for me to try to bop it down some more because it's out of pocket basically. But uh, I ain't going to be doing nothing else with that back end until I kind of send that to the shop. I'm tempted to try to mess with it. I'm tempted, but I don't think I'm going to. But got some good news. Got some good news. Trans Am is back, yeah, dig. And guess what we doing to it today? You know how they say get it out the mud. We literally trying to get this bad boy to fight against the mud to where it ain't going to be there. Because we about to replace this tire, y'all. After some long conversations with the people that wanted to hold the tire and not even let me come to get the god dang tire. We about to switch this bad boy out. So I'm about to take this off. And uh, when we come back, we'll show you the progress that we got with the Trans Am. And then also, I'll probably be going ahead and uh, still doing some stuff to the low rider. All ain't lost. But I am glad it is back down again. You know what I'm saying? Because it look a whole lot better than having it jacked up all the time. But we're going to remedy everything. 
we don't uh we don't stop it always keep going so you know we're on to the next one all right everybody that's everything i'm back it's uh evening time right now you dig and uh lots of work done today but uh after the time after all that time spent got that tire on there brand new you know what i'm saying went through a whole lot just to get this bad boy pretty nice width of a tire too it's only a 16 you know what i mean and also get a look at the other side for everybody who's just now checking out the channel that's the stabilizer link that i put in and the other side has the same thing and uh we still you know what i'm saying gotta get the tires for the back which i'm hoping it'll be easier to get those than it was to get these but i'm glad so about to slap that bad boy on right now and then get into the next thing all right everybody and it's on look at it you know what i'm saying in the back sitting nice and low because it's actually down there it's in the ground you know so anybody who didn't really get a look at it before full look at the trans am had a new one on this side that was the last thing we touched now this bad boy is a lot higher because we got the other side on you know what i'm saying other side is on looking good we are now officially out of you know what i'm saying the dirt on the front still got the rear tire on this side too so we still got both tires to go ahead and get a hold of if you look close even underneath it's not a rusty car at all it's a clean old school you know what i'm saying clean trans in so just getting a look for everybody who never really got a nice look at it going back on the inside again Side for y'all. And I don't like to say it, but I do have that little console piece that goes down there where you see the wires. I got that piece also. Looks good now that this bad boy is actually up. So, peek again underneath. Painted it under here. When it was still cold outside, just a little dusty. But uh, you know what I'm saying, gloss black. I'm probably gonna get up under there this weekend and uh, just do some wiping down. I like to keep everything clean. Just because you got an old car and it ain't got no motor in it yet and it's project status don't mean you shouldn't take some time and give it a little TLC. And I don't mean the singing group, you feel me? You know, take care of it a little bit, so. Now that we got this thing, go around it one more time so y'all can see a little bit more. Bam. Got the front off the ground. I know sometimes people spend bags on their cars at one time. I ain't with all of that. I do everything in moderation, you know what I'm saying? This is a public service announcement. Don't step on my chucks or there'll be great consequences. This message approved by Mr. Everything. Don't step on my chucks, my chucks, my chucks, my chucks Or you might get stuck in the jaw Get stuck, get stuck, get stuck Just like that, it's another day in the back uh, When it comes to the uh, Trans Am I tried to get some brand new lug nuts, you know what I'm saying But that didn't really work out uh, Because none of the uh, parts stores had them you know what I mean? So, we're going to push on. I'm still going to try to find them. I'm probably going to end up just ordering, uh, like, probably, like, just a really nice uh, set of lug nuts, different than the stock ones, uh, just to be able to get a nice full set all at one time. But the search ain't over. So, what I'm going to do is just do a couple things on the low rider, and that's going to end up wrapping this video up. Because, like I say, I like to enjoy my day. I don't want to spend my whole day just doing this because I love the cars and everything like that. But I also love to enjoy the day because when you work like I do, you got to enjoy all your time. You feel me? Life is too short. So we about to get into it. About to go uh, 
to the auto parts store after I get my little roundup of the parts I need to get. Now for the next part of the project, Lowrider, it's time to tackle some of the hoses again. Uh, right here is a full cluster of hoses. Now, I know I probably won't be able to find this factory like this. I mean, it's 83. Um, so I'm going to run up to the auto parts store. And what I might do is when I get back, I'll go ahead and cut this with the razor in half. And just go ahead and run one single hose here. And a couple little small cutoff hoses because this is a T right here. And it runs to the back with extra hoses. So I plan on doing them all at once. Even if you just see me doing a couple, well, hey, that's the rest of the video right there because I really don't plan on doing too much to the truck today. Like I said, I want to enjoy the day. I love the vehicles. But, yeah, no, sometimes you can spend the whole day, and uh, which I actually could enjoy as well, but I do want to enjoy other stuff. When you work like I do, you want to be able to enjoy life as well. So um, I'm going to try to see about replacing these hoses because that probably is the reason why there's a breakdown on power in the truck because when you got cracks, every oh wow, look at this. Hopefully the camera can catch this. This hose ain't even on here all the way. Hopefully y'all can see that. There's a hose right back here. And this hose, hopefully y'all can see that wiggling right there. This hose right here is split. It's not even on there no more. And I didn't even pay attention to that. So, uh that is a lesson for everybody out there look at all your hoses check out everything because you just might be surprised at what you find so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a picture this is what y'all should do as well whenever you're getting ready to work on your vehicle take a picture of what it looks like so that you're not confused on how it goes back together because that's the worst thing if you get one of these hoses crossed up and it's supposed to go to somewhere else so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and take Let's see what this hose looks like. Oh wow, that's cracked there too on the beginning of that. So what I'm gonna end up doing is trying to see if I could just go ahead and get these few hoses replaced, make the truck run better hopefully, and maybe we get a little bit more power out of this bad boy, you know? So I'll be back in a minute. And just like that, we back like the runs after you done ate the wrong thing and thought you was gonna lay down and get up and just go about your business. <laughs> we back like that. But anyway, let's check out what we got. All right, so this uh, particular hose had uh, a split in it. So this hose here didn't necessarily have the splits, but it had the cracks in it. See those cracks on the end there? So I mean, it literally, you know what? And this side had a split in it. So they both had splits in it. So this is what we got <clears throat> from the auto parts store. Bought a foot of both. And uh, they always look out for me. That's one thing I like about them when I go. So um about to find my trusty dusty blade and chop these bad boys up and see what we got. And hopefully the hole, you know what I'm saying, fits. Yeah, it is. Okay, since I had extra holes, what I did was... I replaced this longer one too so uh if you look at that that was split up pretty bad so you know that was barely working if it at all got the split that was in that one and three so i only replaced a few of those hoses today got a little piece left over for both in case i want to do some other ones which i will end up doing other ones but not today if you look see that a little closer we got all three in there Got this one made that one just a little bit longer just in case sometimes you want to make them a little longer just in case you might uh, need some room at all anything like that also got this one here replaced that one it's a lot tighter but hey it's supposed to be tight anyway you feel me got that one there on the bottom so we replaced three different sections now we still have these to replace so I am going to do that, but we're going to say that for another day because, like I say, I'm not going to spend the whole day on this thing, but I do know which direction I want to go. So now the only thing left to do is start this bad boy up, see if it changes anything at all. All right, now the only thing to do now is to fire this bad boy up and see
First time this bad boy ever started up without me having to tap the gas, even after putting brand new plugs, wires. This is the first time this bad boy started up and I tapped the gas and I didn't even have to. So that'll show you right there, having that vacuum pressure, how important that is. And y'all know from experience, you have never, ever, 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 ever heard me start this vehicle up without tapping the gas first and without constantly tapping it to get the idle together. So even though, like literally, y'all have seen me start this thing up time after time and it has never started right up and ran without me tapping that gas. I mean, serious. That's, now, I'm not like no engine guru, I, none of that. I mean, I grew up around cars and stuff like that, but really la within the last so many years, I really just, you know, started trying to fix a lot of the stuff myself because I ain't paying no shop for every little detail. You might see some YouTubers and they drop their car off at the shop all day. Good for them. I don't care if you give me a million dollars, I'm still going to get underneath my hood, you dig? Because that's what I like to do. But this truck has never, and I mean never, ever, 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 in the history of me owning it, it has never started up, and I didn't have to tap the gas at least a few times, and I mean, that's shocking, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, but I mean, that, that just shows you that the vacuum lines and things like that, they are very important when it comes to the truck, and also, the uh, throttle response is a lot better too. Like when I tap the gas, I mean, it's more instantaneous. I'm literally gonna have to at least, you know what I'm saying, scoot it a couple of feet just to see what it's like when I tap the gas. But man, I could only imagine how much better it's gonna run when I replace them other vacuum hoses because they need to be replaced. So we're gonna be at it. But like I say, rain, sleet, hail, snow, or shine, nothing and no one stops the grind. I appreciate everybody who watched these videos Y'all need to give y'all sales a round of applause, you feel me? Because y'all some of the real MVPs, you know? And uh, another thing, don't ever let nobody tell you who ain't you how to do you. And if you want to simplify that, don't ever let nobody t who's not you tell you how to do you. You feel me? So nobody's perfect, but we all here together. I'm glad y'all checking these videos out. Till the next time. Mr. Everything signing out. Peace out.